hey what's good y'all there's a lot of outrage and people upset and people up in arms because dallas cowboys owner jerry jones was shown in a picture to be at a segregation event where black students were trying to enter school back in 1957. so in this video i'm gonna read an article of jerry jones speaking about what's happening because i think the picture came out two days ago then after the game they had on thursday uh, reporters asked Jerry Jones about the picture and he spoke about it. So I'm going to read the article coming from ESPN. I'm going to give you my opinion on what's going on, then what's going to happen. Because there's a lot to unpack with this situation. So let's get into this article from ESPN. All right, so this is coming courtesy of ESPN. I'll put the link in the description box so you guys can read this and check it out for yourself. All right, so after the Dallas Cowboys beat the New York Giants, Boo. You know what I'm saying? We wanted the Giants to win, but you know, it is what it is. On Thanksgiving, owner and general manager Jerry Jones answered more questions about the story published by the Washington Post and his team improving the 8 and 3 and looking like a Super Bowl contender. The Post published a story Wednesday with a photo that showed a 14 year old Jones peering over a crowd of white students as six black teenagers walked up the steps of North Little Rock high school in arkansas as the school was integrated in 1957 jones said he was there out of curiosity than animosity i didn't know at the time the monument to event rally that was going on jones said i am sure glad that we're a long way from that i am that would just remind me to continue to do everything we can to not have those kind of things happening at issue now however it is the perception Jones has not done enough to further black coaches. The Cowboys are one of the seven teams not to have a head black coach and have had two black coordinators since Jones has owned the team. But their highest football executive vice president, player personnel, Will McClay, is black. The Cowboys have a black assistant head coach in Rob Davis and a strength and conditioning staff have three black coaches in Harold Nash, Kendall Smith and Cedric Smith. So that's it right there. So there you have it. Jerry Jones just said that he was there out of more curiosity than animosity, right? Now, <laughs> what's going to happen? Let's be let's be clear. What's going to happen now, right? Now that Jerry Jones, a 14-year-old boy, Jerry Jones was at a I guess a protest or at an event or out you can say either or a protest and or an event, right? Of black students now integrating into a school, right? So because he was there at 14 years old in 1957, is it time for a boycott of the NFL? I'll say no. I'll keep it real. I'm gonna put it flat out like that. I'll say no. Because if we're going to boycott a whole sport because what's something that he did when he was 14 years old because he was there you feel me let me pull this picture up real quick let me pull this picture up just to get some context with this all right let's get some context right here this is the picture right here right so we see black two black children going into a school and in front of the crowd right in front of these two black children walking in you got some grown ass man that looked like the stereotypical bully on all 1950 shows. You feel me? Or a stereotypical bully that's drawn for like a cartoon character with a cigarette in his mouth. So he looked like the stereotypical bully who ain't got nothing going on. And, and if he's not dead, he probably just be some type of low life. You know, feel me? So I think that's him. Then you got some other kid that just want to be his friend egging it on. Then you got this other kid right here or other man, whatever this is with a scorn look on his face, then not just try to be forgiven and give him credit or nothing like that. You got a Jerry Jones looking there. He could look like he's mad. He could look like he's curious. He could look like what is going on. He could look like a number of things. You feel me? And we forgive people who do a lot more than this right here. We forgive people who do a lot more because if it was really about that life of protesting and boycotting, we would have definitely been more protesting for Colin Kaepernick. And the NFL numbers would have dropped. The NFL numbers dropped more 
because people was mad, mad about Colin Kaepernick kneeling than it was about what Colin Kaepernick was speaking about and him trying to be silenced. Let's, so let's be clear. We, it was more mad about that. But Jerry Jones at a is shown in the photograph in 1957. I mean, if Jerry Jones was this kid right here in the front with the cigarette or this man, that'd be something to say. Ah, oh, damn. You got to do some explaining to do. But just some kid in the back at 14 years old just sitting like, all right, what's going on? I mean, I don't know if Jerry Jones went to that school or not. He could have been trying to get into school too. You feel me? Like you got this grown man in front of him and you got the little kid behind him egging it on. Probably his brother. They look kind of alike now. I'm looking at him. They probably just egging him on. I don't know Jerry Jones' background. I don't know nothing about if he a racist or not. But just from him being there, to me, that's not a big deal. We forgive a lot more. We forgive people who did a lot more harm to the black community than somebody at an event. I'll bring it up again. I don't care. Somebody said it in my comments. Mark Wahlberg did a lot more to the black community, but he's okay. He's cool. You know what I'm saying? L literally arrested for hate crimes. But Jerry Jones in the photo, come on, fam. That's not a big deal. It's definitely not a big deal. You know what's going to happen. They're going to do the, the same copy and paste method. Black folks going to come out and say how to support Jerry Jones. You're going to have the Dak Prescott's. He's going to say something. You might have Ezekiel Elliott. Oh, don't let them sign Odell Beckham. You know they said that he might be coming to the Cowboys. He going to come there and say, oh, how much you love him. Michael Irvin going to say how much you love him when he go back on ESPN first take on Monday after the holiday break. You know what's going to happen. They're going to run the same game. And I say, I give it, I give it like a week and a half. All's going to be forgiven. The ratings ain't going to take a hit because of this. Nobody going to care. We got to find different battles to fight or different, like, man, like, how can I put this? If we're going to fight battles, we got to find different things to fight because clearly Jerry Jones out here, 1957, at a, at an event, a protest, a rally, what have you, because some black kids are now going to school integrated, it's a nothing burger in my opinion. And not to mention too, some black folks from that time say integration was one of the worst things that happened to the black community. We should have stayed together, but instead we wanted to integrate and become part of one, right? So a lot of black people do say that. I've heard that from older black people down here in the South, told me that right out there. Right at their mouth said, nah, we should have definitely stick together instead of trying to integrate and become into their society. But what are your thoughts about this Jerry Jones thing? Should we start protesting the NFL? Is it a nothing burger? Is it a big deal? Jerry Jones in the back? To me, it's, a, it's not a big deal. And I don't know, somebody had that picture for a minute and it said, yo, we're going to drop this picture when we need to. And who cares, man? What, what are you going to do? Are they going to make Jerry Jones sell a team? No. Man, he not gonna sell a team over a picture like this because it's gonna be people that's gonna stand up and say how great of a man Jerry Jones is. He's gonna have all these black players, ex-players, coaches, or whoever gonna come up and say how great of a man Jerry Jones is. And I'm kind of curious, what was what's LeBron James gonna say? Because this is his favorite team. The Cowboys is LeBron James' favorite team. So now LeBron James is the social justice warrior on the, in the NBA. And this is his favorite team. What are you going to say? I would love to hear what LeBron says. But let me know how you feel about this in the comments, man. Ain't no big deal. To me, it ain't no big deal. Now, if I had everything documented that I did when I was 14 or when you was 14 and it come out to light, who knows where we'd be at, right? Who knows? But those are my thoughts. Those are my comments, man. I appreciate the time. Let me know how you feel about it in the comments, man. If you like the content, make sure you subscribe. Turn on notifications. You know what I'm saying? Especially turn notifications on because I'll be going to do my live streams and people say they're not getting notifications. You got to hit all also. And I think also once you hit notifications, uh, um, they got to like send you the notification too. So you got to like turn your notifications on for it to work. Cause like me and my phone, my notifications don't work for like social media and text messages. Like I don't want to see that in, in emails. I don't want to see none of that stuff all day. I see it when I see it. But those are my thoughts, man. I appreciate you guys. All right, man. So next time, peace. Real Rap Ron is signing off. All right, later. One.